Toxins that are left in cannabis, like residual solvents or pesticides, has long-term impacts to your health and well-being. Most contaminants, you can't see they're there unless you test for them. Proverdi Laboratories has been specializing in doing testing for cannabis for the last four years. At our lab, we test for patients, we test for caregivers, we test for manufacturers and processors, and we test for dispensaries. We had spoken with the Department of Public Health when cannabis was becoming legal here in Massachusetts, and we talked to them about the fact that we were taking something that was basically an illicit street drug and bringing it to the light of day as real medicine. We do testing for both potency and for safety. Potency is important so patients and consumers know what they're getting and how much to dose. The more important thing that we do is safety testing. We did a lot of research that documented very well that people have gotten sick and died from consuming contaminated marijuana. The death rate for marijuana remains constant for 7,000 years at zero, but contaminants are the issue. The first thing we do if we're doing the whole suite of testing is we look at it under a microscope to check for things that probably shouldn't be there like hair and bug parts and things like that. And then once that screening is done, we then parse the product out and that goes through the process. Pesticides are pesky little things and when they're used in cannabis, they tend to stick to the plant. You can't see it, you can't smell it, in most cases you can't taste it when there's pesticides on there. You have to have four criteria for us to say that your product is contaminated with pesticides. We do a chromatogram where you can actually see what the pesticide is and the curve will tell us how much is there. We then weigh the molecule to make sure that it is that particular substance that we think it is, and then we actually look at it through a mass spec. We lower it apart and see what the pattern is and what the relationship between the mother and the daughter particles are. And if you have all four of those criteria, you absolutely have pesticides in your product with that. We also do a mycotoxin screening. We screen for heavy metals and microbiological because we're looking to see what kind of bacteria is in there, what kind of yeast is in there, what kind of mold is in there. We also look for salmonella, E. coli, and those kinds of things. We test to parts per million, parts per billion, and on heavy metals, we're testing down to parts per trillion. It's similar like the food industry does testing for contaminants. On the potency side, we test for cannabinoids and terpenes. Most of the experience of what does this feel like when I consume it is the terpene profile, not necessarily the cannabinoid profile. Terpenes are those smelly things from plants, flowers, and spices that have physiological response in the body. In indicas, linalool is a primary terpene there, which is why indicas are more calming, soothing, and in some cases, sedating. Sativas are, are higher in lemonine, and lemonine is a body and mind um, stimulant. So depending on are you gonna be laughing, serious, engaged, withdrawn, hungry, not, giggly, whatever, that's all the terpenes that are produced, making you feel that way. In cannabis, there's so much variability and there's so many different producers today. Right now, regulation is state by state by state and they're not consistent and that becomes complicated and confusing for people. And so ultimately, we need federal regulations. So we're actually helping the federal government establish good safety testing and sampling protocols so that everybody will have one standard to go by, which is very needed.